Ladies and gentlemen, esteemed guests, and fellow learners, welcome to our presentation on Newton's laws of motion. Today, we embark on a journey to explore the fundamental principles that govern the motion of objects. Join us as we delve into the groundbreaking discoveries of Sir Isaac Newton, and uncover the secrets behind the dynamics of our physical world. Let's start our exploration with Newton's first law of motion, also known as the law of inertia. This law states that an object at rest will stay at rest, and an object in motion will stay in motion at a constant velocity unless acted upon by an external force. In other words, objects have a natural tendency to maintain their state of motion or rest. This property is called inertia. Consider a book resting on a table. It remains motionless until an external force, such as someone pushing it, comes into play. Similarly, a moving car will continue moving unless an external force, like the brakes, slows it down. Understanding the concept of inertia is crucial in comprehending the behavior of objects in motion. Moving on, let's explore Newton's second law of motion, which is expressed mathematically as F equals ma. This law reveals the relationship between force, mass, and acceleration. According to this law, the acceleration of an object is directly proportional to the net force acting on it and inversely proportional to its mass. In simpler terms, the more force applied to an object, the greater its acceleration, provided the mass remains constant. Conversely, the larger the mass of an object, the harder it is to accelerate it with the same force. For instance, pushing a heavy box requires more force to achieve the same acceleration as pushing a lighter box. Newton's second law provides a fundamental framework for understanding how objects respond to forces and change their motion accordingly. Now, let's turn our attention to Newton's third law of motion, often referred to as the law of action and reaction. This law states that for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. It implies that any force exerted on an object will result in an equal force exerted back on the object, but in the opposite direction. Consider jumping off a diving board. The force you exert on the board propels you upward, while the board simultaneously exerts an equal and opposite force, pushing you into the air. This principle is also at play in the launching of rockets, where the propulsion force generated by the engines creates a reaction force that propels the rocket forward. Let's take a moment to reflect on the real-world applications of Newton's laws of motion. These laws govern numerous aspects of our daily lives and have profound effects on various fields, including sports, transportation, and space exploration. In sports, Newton's laws explain the mechanics of running, swimming, and throwing. The force applied to the ground while running propels us forward, while the action and reaction forces in swimming enable us to move through the water efficiently. Similarly, when throwing a ball, the force applied determines its acceleration and trajectory. In transportation, Newton's laws are at the core of car acceleration, airplane takeoffs, and the design of efficient vehicles. These laws provide insights into the forces involved and enable engineers to optimize performance and safety. In space exploration, Newton's laws play a crucial role in understanding rocket propulsion, satellite orbits, and the motion of celestial bodies. These laws guide the calculations and predictions necessary for successful space missions and astronomical observations. In summary, Newton's laws of motion provide the foundational principles that govern the behavior of objects in motion. By understanding these laws, we can make sense of the forces that shape our physical world. Let's recap the key takeaways. First, objects at rest will remain at rest, and objects in motion will continue moving at a constant velocity unless acted upon by an external force. This is known as Newton's first law of motion or the law of inertia. Second, the acceleration of an object is directly proportional to the net force acting on it and inversely proportional to its mass. This relationship is encapsulated in Newton's second law of motion, which is represented by the equation F equals ma. Finally, for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. Newton's third law of motion, the law of action and reaction, highlights the symmetrical nature of forces in our universe. Before we conclude, I would like to acknowledge the valuable references and sources that have contributed to our understanding of Newton's laws of motion. These references have provided the foundation for our exploration and have helped shape our presentation. We encourage you to explore these sources further for a more in-depth understanding of this fascinating subject. Thank you for joining us on this enlightening journey through Newton's laws of motion. We hope.
that our presentation has sparked your curiosity and deepened your appreciation for the fundamental principles that govern motion. May your continued exploration of this topic lead to even greater discoveries and insights.